Week 39, still no baby. No. Calvin scared me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't scare you, you scared yourself. This baby scared you. I keep having like Braxton Hicks contractions. And I don't know if they're real. But I feel like if they were real, they would hurt. Yeah, you don't look like you're in the most comfortable position right now. How you can say ow, 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 and then we have to like lean over like this and be like, I feel like it would hurt though. No, like know. the contractions would hurt. Mm. Like at, my body just hurts. She just thinks I scared her because she told me Braxton Hicks uh, don't But they're not happen, supposed to happen. Like close to each other. Yeah, but they're not happening that close to each other. No. And and it's like consistent, like it's not. Oh, yeah, 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 so I don't think he's coming today or tonight. But today like, or tonight? <laughs> you're like... But tomorrow he could? I mean, or this weekend. But you're like, oh no, they don't have it close together. And then all of a sudden, now they're like five minutes apart. There's so much to do before he gets here. That's why I said to do more before. No, but not even that. Like, we have to, the cleaning lady's gonna come. I know. We have to go to Costco. That's why I wanted to do a lot of the other stuff done first. So we don't have like shit on top of each other. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna pack the hospital bag tomorrow and do my little bedside cart. Right? Oh, my stomach is still hella high. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Still no baby, so that's good. So I need to be productive today. Let's get up, let's get into it. Good morning, Ben. <laughs> Hi, my booby. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah, you did, huh? We got him a new bed yesterday. He has all of his toys and blankets in there. Oh, he's a good boy. Ben, you're not gonna be the baby in a few weeks. I know, that's so crazy. That's crazy talk. There's gonna be a little baby here. You're gonna help mommy? Yeah, I know you are. I know you're gonna be the best big brother, huh? Yes. We're gonna be so good with the baby. All right, buddy, let's go to the bathroom. Oh, we also got the cats a new little cat tree because the one that was there before was crusty and just disgusting. So we got them a new one. I need to put these covers on the swings. I just left them here dry, and then I'm gonna put this in the garage today let's go also these stairs need to be vacuumed so don't judge i'm so excited because nanit the baby monitor company sent me a camera like they sent me me little old me a free camera ah. so i just want to say you know if you guys are aspiring content creators influencers don't give up Keep trying and you know it'll eventually happen and it's been years for me and this is the first year 2024 where I've actually gotten recognized from brands so I'm so excited so I just had to share that with you guys because it was super exciting but anyway let's take that out I think I told you guys in one of my last videos that I have been taking this gentle birth tincture and it's supposed to like help prepare your body for labor and like make your labor easier. We'll see. So you have to take it before you eat. Well, that's what it says. It is disgusting. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's not good. So cheers.
San Diego is having a rain day again. Last week we had a storm that flooded like the whole city and it's supposed to rain again all day. So Calvin isn't going to work today because he can't do his job in the rain, which I'm selfishly happy about <laughs> because he's home with me. He took Elijah to school so that I could sleep in and he brought me back some breakfast and coffee, so let's go downstairs and see what he brought. My baby. I'm so selfishly happy that you don't work today. <laughs> I have the best. I was the same boyfriend. Oh. Uh, fiance. <laughs> ben. ben. Ben, I know you're excited, buddy. Oh my god. Ben, are you gonna be okay with the baby's born? You gotta share your mommy. Thank you, We're going to our 38 week appointment and then we're going to come home and pack our hospital bag. So I'll keep you guys updated on my appointment and how it goes. Babe, yes. tell, tell him how my doctor's appointment was today. This is the first one he's gone to, like the fast ones. It was literally came in, put a measuring tape on her. Said, oh, and here's the baby's heartbeat. All right, see you next week. Oh, he said you have questions. No, he asked us if we had any questions, and we asked about the Braxton Hicks contractions, and he informed us as long as there's no pain, the baby's not coming. Why are you such a baby? You're such a baby. Indigo, what do you think you're doing? Stitch. Hi, Stitch. The little people. Oh, wow. I told Calvin that the freaking office gets so much sunlight that I cannot do anything because I'm blinded and by the sun. don't want the baby to be taken out. And then I said, the the, there's no way the baby's going to be able to nap in here with the sun beaming on him. So he put these curtains up. Once he comes, we'll be able to just hook this up and I'll just do the outlets behind the shelf. Yeah. But no need to have it hooked up now. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute in here. I love it. Hey guys, I'm still pregnant. I have cheer all day, so I just got ready. It's so early, it's like seven in the morning. Week 39, still no baby. Oh my gosh, that's crazy town. 39 weeks. Yeah. And I have to repack our hospital bag tomorrow because I don't like the way the video could turn out, so I'm gonna redo so she it. she doesn't have to do it. She's choosing to. Yeah, I am choosing to. So So today's Monday. It's raining. Well, actually, it's not even raining. It's supposed to rain. So Calvin didn't go to work today. So yeah, we're going to clean up our room, finish packing our hospital bag, and go get a pedicure. And I'm also gonna get my nails done. So that is the plan for today. I think I'm gonna do a separate video like what's in my hospital bag. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm gonna take a shower right now and then I'm gonna make us some breakfast and yeah. I'm about to make us some breakfast and I decided I'm just gonna get dressed and get ready after. Oh, in the bathroom. After you ate all the macarons, it was just Jack. There you just be standing there, huh? On your territory. Ooh, 
Calvin's first time at Hobby Lobby. I'm so excited. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Look at my little baby girl. She's so freaking cute. She's like the cat that we have that is the most terrified of everything. And when somebody comes over, she literally will hide for hours. Like, till that person leaves, she will not come out. She's like such a small cat. I think she weighs like seven pounds. What? What's wrong? What do you mean, tiny girl? Anyway, oh my god, my hair. I look a mess. Hold on, let me just pull my hair down. I just, I didn't just wake up. I just got downstairs. I was throwing up, so that's, love that for me. It's raining. It is pouring, actually. Calvin is on his way back from the gym, so I'm about to make us some breakfast, but I'm still pregnant, y'all. Still pregnant. I'm almost 39 weeks. I'll be 39 weeks tomorrow. So yeah, we're just waiting for a baby boy to make his appearance. A few weeks ago, one of my best friend's fiance got diagnosed with cancer. And it's super rare. It's one of those things where it it's just, there's really no answers right now. So they're doing a bunch of tests and there is a GoFundMe for them if you guys want to like read about their story and if you want to donate, if you have, you know, even $5, anything helps. They do have a two-year-old who is like my nephew. He is my nephew. I don't have siblings, so my best friend's kids are like my literal nephews and nieces. He's going to be going through some pretty intense treatments and money is just the last thing that they should be stressing or worried about you know what i mean and just because you go through something like this doesn't mean that bills stop doesn't mean that life stops somebody in his family created a gofundme for them if you know somebody else who's going through cancer right now my heart goes out to them because it is it's scary and it's just not something that anybody wants to go through and like i said they have a two-year-old so it's you know it, it's it's scary so uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you guys want to donate to them, I will have it linked down below. Um, I wanted to just quickly answer some questions that I've been getting on here. A few of you guys have asked me if I can answer some questions, so I'm going to do that. This one I actually just saw like a couple minutes ago, but she said, can you answer this question in your next vlog? This isn't the next vlog, so sorry, but <laughs> hopefully you're watching this. Um, her name is Amy. And she said, have you gotten any embarrassing or TMI symptoms like gas farting during a pregnancy? I will say I am not one to be embarrassed <laughs> about gas. Yeah, I'm just not. I fart and poop in front of my boyfriend and I really don't give a Yes, though, to answer your question, yes. I've been very gassy and I just be farting in front of him and I just, I don't care. I'm not one to be like embarrassed to fart in front of like my fiance. And I've never been, like, since the very beginning of our relationship. That's just not, like, me. I'm just not, <laughs> not, like, an embarrassed. I don't get embarrassed easily when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, it's natural. Everybody poops. Everybody farts. So, yeah, I don't give a shit. I literally will fart on him. <laughs> and I have before. So, yeah. Hope that answers that question. Oh, my gosh. I literally can't find it. So, I... I'm about to get ready but I just wanted to end this vlog with just answering some questions I was telling you guys earlier that I was looking for this comment and I found it I already answered one question earlier talking about the gas and stuff the first question is how much weight have you gained I don't know exactly how much weight I've gained to be 100% honest with you just because I don't know how much I weighed in the beginning of my pregnancy I do know that I didn't eat for like three weeks in the beginning so I wasn't gaining weight in the beginning and then once I got my appetite back I was eating a lot but the last doctor's appointment I went to I was 199 I'm super open about that kind of stuff I don't care I'm weight to me is not 
the most important thing like the most important thing is that the baby's healthy and that i'm healthy i've been super active this pregnancy i don't think that it's something that you should focus on personally yeah i think i've gained around 50 pounds i would say because that was between like 145 and 160 i don't know exactly how much i was in the start but that was my average weight the next one is do you have any stretch marks and are you using anything for them i'm gonna show you guys what i used to massage my belly i've talked about this in a few of my other vlogs but this is what i use on my belly this is a julian naturals mommy balm so it's like a giant stick which is cool if you don't want to get your hands all you know oily it's not oily at all but i'm just saying like you don't want to rub lotion or oil on your belly this is a great alternative i'll have it linked down below and then this is the bumpology bump butter this stuff smells so good i put this one on first and then i use this one on top i don't have any stretch marks but honestly stretch marks are genetic so if you have stretch marks it's okay just embrace them i think that stretch marks are beautiful it just shows you know what your body did so don't be ashamed if you have stretch marks but i don't have any i do remember after my son i got really bad stretch marks on my boobs after i had him i don't know if that will be the same that's typically where i tend to get them did you do maternity photos or belly cast i did do maternity photos i did two i did one outdoor one which i do have a vlog of that on here if you guys want to check that out that was actually where my fiance proposed to me i had no idea he literally contacted the photographer and told her the plan and stuff and then i also had a studio one that i did and that one was really fun i also have a vlog of that as well and then i didn't do a belly cast just because I don't know I just like what do I where am I gonna put it you know I don't I don't want I don't I don't want that so no I didn't do a belly cast do you have the pregnancy waddle yes I do I waddle a lot and Calvin always makes fun of me <laughs> which is so funny but yes I do waddle do you have trouble finding clothes that fit or cover the bump honestly no these leggings that I'm wearing are pretty much what I live in when I go out I have them in black as well I got them on Amazon. They're linked down below in my storefront. I don't wear jeans. I don't even attempt to wear jeans. For the most part, I do wear my like normal clothes. I bought a couple of like maternity shirts. Have you ever gotten any rude or offensive comments due to the size of your bump? In person, not really. Online, kind of, I wouldn't say rude or offensive. Just people tell me that I'm big. Mostly in the beginning of my pregnancy, just because I feel like I showed quicker. Now that I'm about to have him any day, I don't really get comments like that. But yesterday when Calvin and I went to go get pedicures, this older, it's always older woman for some reason, but she's like, oh, is there two? I'm like, no, just one. Like, I don't understand why people ask that. Because I would say, like, oh, I'm having twins. You know, like, that would be something I would say. I don't know. How many kids do you want? I don't know. <laughs> I want to get through this one first. And then we will decide if we want a few more, one more. Who knows? There's not, like, a set number that I want. It's just kind of however many, you know, God blesses us with. Have you had any trouble bending over to pick things up or shave your legs or other areas below the bump? Any tips? uh yes i have lots of trouble <laughs> like i'm at the point now where if i drop something i can't pick it up like i just i'm not going to so calvin helps me a lot with that um i actually shaved my legs yesterday by myself and i did a really bad job i missed a bunch of spots that was pretty difficult i do get regular brazilian waxes so yeah i, I even before i was pregnant i do not shave down there because I don't like to um, have your boobs or butt grown during pregnancy yes definitely my boobs are giant and I know they're gonna get bigger how has your sex drive and intimacy been during pregnancy honestly I'm an open book it's been great <laughs> so I know some people you know during their pregnancy they might not want to or they kind of get like repulsed by their partner I've heard of people say that not me <laughs> without giving you guys too much information. It's great. I want it all the time, so yeah. My friend's husband said, does it hurt giving birth? Boy, yes, it does hurt. But you know what? Mind over matter. So instead of saying I'm in pain, I'm gonna say I'm uncomfortable because you know, it's just like 
play on words i'm gonna end this video here sorry i'm talking so fast my camera's literally about to die so i just wanted to say thank you for all your support i'm sorry i haven't been as active but i promise i will be more active <laughs> so thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and i love you so much bye